wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the page to Red D. Rose Report. Hope everybody's going to have a good new year. Hope you had a good weekend. Now, uh, here he comes. Oh, and here comes maybe Evan Bourne. But he said he won't be in, back in time for the 2013 Royal Rumble, though. He said that's his uh, personal favorite pay-per-view match. But uh, no matter, uh, he said, how hard I train, my foot will not be ring ready by the time RR comes around. Uh, and if you didn't know Royal Rumble, uh, he said, uh, I'm not sure how many matches, or I rather, how many Royal Rumbles he's been in. He might just like to watch them because I think he's hurt more than he's been in WWE. Now, I like him, but uh, anyway, in an update uh, on an earlier uh, Survivor Series buy rate, Breakdown is reportedly 122,000 domestic buys and 90,000 international buys. And that's going to be uh, down 32% domestically and 32% internationally from comparing to 2011. Don't remember who was in that, but uh, apparently it wasn't a very good draw this year. Mae Young, by the way, she was backstage at Raw uh, taping in Washington, D.C., but she wasn't used. At one point, she was scheduled to be on the show. where Her name was kind of referenced in an angle, but uh, she never got in front of the... Uh, she never appeared in front of the live crowd at all. Uh, WWE uh, Superstar Spotlight on their website today is uh, the late Brian Adams. Nope, not that guy. Crush. And I think he went by a lot of other names, too. Can you name him? WWE Superstar Kurt Hawkins, he tore his uh, PCL and meniscus back in October. Now he's using Diamond Dallas Page's uh, DDP yoga. He says, did some uh, DDP yoga this weekend for the first time since uh, my injury. He said, I felt great. He says, I'm at the end of my recovery for certain. Don't ever say certain. Or never. <laughs> anyway. Uh, happy birthday to uh, WWE wrestler uh, Ryan Sakota. Uh, 38 years old, indie regular and former Tough Enough competitor Matt Cross, uh, 32 years old, and WWE personality Jamie Keys, former personality, 28 years old. And despite being advertised on uh, SmackDown taping, uh, Alberto Del Rio, uh, he was supposed to be there in Richmond, Virginia, and Alberta was, you know, set up, set up to face Big Show, but the match never happened. Don't think he was there. Unless, maybe he was injured. All right, tonight's uh, <clears throat> Raw was taped uh, from Saturday night, by the way, Washington, uh, D.C., as a uh, Champion's Choice theme. Uh, anyway, full spoilers, by the way, in the matches uh, listing uh, can be... I am, I'm not going to really, I hate to do spoilers, I really do. Uh, sometime I do, and by the time I noticed I did, it's already out. Quit that, quit that, quit that. Ooh. Look at that, he's eating my hand up. <sighs> anyway, uh, the main event for tonight's show was going to be right back uh, taking on The Shield, Rollins, Reigns, and Ambrose in a handicap match. And there's also, also going to be a New Year's Eve toast with uh, A.J. Lee and Dolph Ziggler. Can't wait for that, can we? You know, now this, <laughs> this is my last uh, show for the you know this year. I might as well just go ahead and say it. Why can't they ever have just a, a real handicap match? You know, I mean, somebody out there with, a, uh, you know, maybe one leg, uh, one arm, two arms, no legs. All that, that's, that's, you know, just don't do that. Oh, sick bastard. Yeah. Anyway, uh, WWE is going to be focusing on uh, the these points for tonight. Don't tell anybody I said that. Anyway, uh, what will AJ and Ziggler uh, have to say with their toast? Maybe they'll have some coffee, too. I, who knows? And they're uh, in our uh, CM Punk's days numbered as WWE champion. Well, yes, they are. I think he's at 400 and something right now. They are numbered. And is Sheamus poised to recapture the world title? Does Caitlyn deserve another match uh, with uh, Diva champion Eve Torres or not? And besides Intercontinental champion uh, uh, Wade Barrett, who else would close out the 2012 with a bang? I don't know. 
Hey, dark main event uh, at last night's uh, SmackDown taping in Richmond, Virginia. Saw Sheamus uh, fight Big Show to a no contest. I just told you a spoiler. My fault. Uh, as noted before, oh, Sin Cara, he was uh, backstage at Saturday's uh, taping, but he wasn't used. He says uh, on Twitter, back from Mexico with my knee medical checkup. He said, everything is good. I'll be back in the ring. I don't know whether that sounded like a threat to me, but... On January 2nd episode of the WWE Main Event, WWE is going to be revealing whether or not CM Punk can compete against Ryback on January 7th. Well, better late than never, I guess. And WWE taped the following matches in Richmond uh, to air on um, SmackDown. It's going to be Miz taking on Slater. Natalya Hornswoggle and the Great Khali, of all things, taking on Primo Epico and Rosa Mendez. Kofi Kingston taking on Wade Barrett for the IC title. And uh, Layla, yeah, I love you too. Uh, Lay Quit. Layla uh, taking on Tamina Snuka and uh, Orton Sheamus taking on Cicero and Big Show. Uh, WWE.com has now officially put this in writing. Quit. Not your kid. Anyway, they got it in writing. And you could put it in writing too. The Rock returns to Raw January 7th, 2013, Tampa, Florida. And uh, that's going to be a big show for them on the 7th. Uh, so that buyback deal may have, maybe The Rock's going inter to uh, intervene in the uh, uh, Ryback match. Set up a little match for R&R, um, &R. who knows. All right, Randy Orton uh, will take uh, will replace Rey Mysterio during the upcoming WWE shows in Puerto Rico the next weekend. Orton was going to be is going to be teaming with Sin Cara to take on Primo and Epico. I think that's an odd tag team. Uh, Orton and uh, Sin Cara. Anyway, dark match before WWE taping in Richmond saw Natalya defeat Alicia Fox. By God, I said another spoiler. Stop me! Stop me! Stop me! I've stopped you. I'm going to be clean by the time this uh, report is over. All right, Seamus versus Michael McGillicuddy was taped for, uh, well, in Richmond for a future episode, I guess, of Saturday Morning Slam, it looks like. Following matches were taped uh, for tonight's January 2nd main event. Rick Colley taking on, that'd be a strange match. Rick Colley taking on uh, Cicero for the title. Wade Barrett, he will compete in a non-title uh, gauntlet match. Apparently he has to wrestle, wrestle some, sign of, some kind of a gauntlet, I don't know. But speaking of Barrett, he's going to be defending his IC title against former uh, champion Kofi Kingston on January 4th, SmackDown. Now this is strange. Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan were back together again on Saturday night. It looks like they got together with friends and family at Hogan's new restaurant in Florida. They said... This Monday, oh, uh, uh, they got a. There's a picture of uh, Flair and Hogan together, and there's also, of all things, Ric Flair's daughter and Nick Hogan in a picture together. And I can bet you any amount of money, he never drove her home. Flair wouldn't let that happen. All right. Anyway, uh, this Monday's Raw, by, by the way, is going to be airing on New Year's Eve. And what happens New Year's Eve? Uh, of course, without a toast. They're talking about this toast again. Uh, anyway, in recognition of the beginning of 2013, Ziggler and Lee have announced special plans to, to have a toast on Raw, and they invited the whole WWE Universe to join them. Well, if I had free tickets, I'd, I'd join. There's also a guest of honor on a controversial uh, couples list is John Cena. Uh, what will Ziggler and uh, AJ have to say during their toast? Says, uh, what will the C Nation leader accept their invitation or not? And uh, join the dubious pair, it says, uh, for Monday, uh, help bring in the new year. And in an article on Alex Jones, who's that? Well, he recently signed a three-year developmental deal with WWE. Jones is heading to Tampa, Florida this weekend to begin, begin work with NXT. And what they do down there, it, I don't care how good a wrestler you are, they take you down to uh, Florida down there and they, and they retrain you. The way WWE wrestles. So you might as well throw your, a lot of your history out the window. But anyway, Jones was working on his Masters in Strength and Conditioning at USC when uh, he met former WWE star Rikishi and Grant Gangrel. Ooh, 
wouldn't that be a nice couple to be hanging out with? Anyway, they led him uh, to begin training at the Rikishi Knox uh, Pro Wrestling School. And about 10 days later, Cena was in town for Raw and was lifting weights at the USC. Uh, Cena tabbed uh, Jones as a potential star and recruited him into the WWE. Basically, he was the one who did it. Uh, Jones uh, attended the tryout camp in uh, August and says uh, uh, Jim Ross and uh, Gerald Briscoe couldn't stop praising him. Jones told the uh, uh, newspaper, I think it is, or the website, like saltvalley.com, said they all said, you could be our guy. Look at Cena. You could be, uh, that could be you. Uh, now, anything else uh, than, uh, other than being a champ would be a disappointment. I wish they would tell me something like that, don't you? Huh? Don't you wish that? No comment, huh? Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.